y'all welcome back to my channel and into another ipsy unboxing i have both my plus my glam bag plus and my regular bag let me tell you something i've had a mess of a time getting my ipsy bags this month and i'm gonna tell you why but first if you are new here welcome to my channel we love to have you as part of our family here on youtube so if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button down somewhere on your screen there and that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos i greatly appreciate it um if you are returning to me thank you so much for coming back and watching another video of mine I love you it means the world to me um, we're gonna go ahead and get started let me tell you why I've had such a trouble and do disregard uh, my face here I have um, like that what they call milk spots or milla milia on my face and sometimes they just randomly pop so this is one this is one and uh, I got some redness down here on my chin today, but I have a lot of stuff going on this week or today in general. Um, it is my Friday, I don't work today. I'm off on vacation for the next 10 days, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, so I just kept it real simple. I didn't even pull my hair down and make it look nice. I got shopping, cleaning, wrapping presents. I've got all the things to do today. So um, I just kept it real simple. Just some mascara and some eyeshadow and that's it. That's all I put on there. I put a little blush on there but I use such light blush that you really can't see it on camera. I have no foundation on so there's that. I do apologize but I got to get through this so I can get this uploaded. Um, most of you probably won't even want to watch this video at this point because um, Ipsy took forever to get to me. I got notification on both bags that they got shipped out on December 6th. I got these bags yesterday. Actually, I got my Glam Bag Plus, which usually always comes to me first. I got it yesterday on the 19th. And my regular bag got sent to me on the 18th that's when i got them i kept refreshing to see where they at where they were at in shipping and it just said i they could not provide me with a shipping uh time frame or a delivery date or any of that jazz um, it gave me a delivery date and then took it back and then it gave me another delivery date and took it back um, and then they randomly showed up so I don't know, I mean I know it's the holidays, things might take a couple extra days to get to me, but two weeks, over two weeks, I, I don't know. I don't know what the deal was with my bags this month. All of my other boxes came to me um, in a normal, timely fashion, okay? Um, but not this one, not these, okay? So I don't know, I'm a little disappointed about that. Um, this is what the bag looks like. Everybody's probably very well aware. It has like a pine green inside as well as a pine green little zip. As you guys can see, I'm going to pull the card out and, uh, set that aside. And we're just going to pull things out of this bag. First up is a brush and I never mind getting brushes because I hate cleaning brushes. This is a Luxie brush. Um, I believe I've gotten this brush before. It is just a little tiny eyeshadow brush, I would assume, or a blending brush. It, I like Lu Luxie brushes, so I'm not really bent out of shape about that. Um, I do enjoy their brushes a lot. Next up is a Thrive Mascara, and the box is open. Um, I didn't look at the box before. Um, Thrive is the mascara that I use every single day. Um, so I think that this is what I picked out for this month, just to have a travel size so I don't have to carry my big one with me. Um, I love the Thrive Liquid Lash Extended Mascara. Why will my camera not focus? I'm sure you guys have all seen this by now. Focus, please. I don't know. I don't know. How about back here? There we go. Um, it is uh, my favorite mascara. I always use the L'Oreal Primer mascara first, and then I put this on, and legit, I've got lashes. Can you see that? I mean, my lashes are pretty, are fairly decent. I don't curl them. I don't do anything else to them. I just use that L'Oreal uh, primer mascara and then put this over the top of it um, and I will probably 
always use this mascara until I find something better. This far I have not, okay? Next up is this Watermelon Illuminator Daytime Facial Oil. Um, I'm not a big fan of facial oil in general, okay? Because um, I just, I don't like facial oil. I'm not even gonna open that because I'll probably just pass this along. Um, I'm not an oil kind of gal. Um, I'm sure it smells fantastic though. Watermelon is one of my favorite flavors, so there's that. We have, uh, next up is the Avon True Color in the shade uh, Diamonds, Glimmer Stick Diamonds. Um, this is an eyeliner contour uh, little situation eyeliner stick. Um, I'm assuming it's like this goldy color, which would be fine, except for I just, I'm not really that adventurous with my makeup, so I will probably not use this either and just give it away or share it with somebody else because it's just not my thing. And then the last thing in my bag is this product from Tarte. This is a high, this is an Amazonian clay. highlighter or is it a blush I don't know. let me open it up I believe it's a blush yeah little Amazonian clay blush and kisses and that's a, a fairly decent color um, there it is swatched on my hand as you guys can see it's light enough that I could make that work for my face um, I, like I said I'm not that adventurous you'll never see me do the eyebrow situation um, it's just not my thing um, and I don't really like really BAM in your face kind of makeup so overall let's see the Thrive Mascara oh they don't have prices on here what don't they usually have prices in here look you'll have to let me know down below um maybe they don't for the regular bag but i think they are supposed to have them in on the glam bag plus um but so i can't tell you the cost of this bag because i don't have the prices in there overall i mean i am okay with this it's an okay bag it's not my favorite bag that i've ever had I won't use this guy and I won't use this guy. Um, I'll just set that away for somebody else that might use it. Um, do you hear that car outside? Dang. Um, but I do, I'm okay with, I do really like this shade of the blush. Of course, I'm in love with this. This here product probably makes the bag worth everything else that I got that I won't like um, because this is a fairly pricey mascara and I it's my favorite I love it um, and then this brush I'm okay with the brush so three out of two products not bad normally Ipsy is my favorite bag usually or my favorite subscription that I get um, usually um, but it's kind of just okay this this month they usually do pretty good about taking into consideration my beauty profile um, but I know that I have on there not to send me face oils um, so there's that or colored eyeliner um, so there's that so overall it's okay mm, it's not the best bag that I've ever had but I'm not mad at it just because of that Thrive mascara in there um, so it's okay and I'm a little disappointed in Ipsy as well because it took them so long to get to me, which is irritating. Uh, next up is my Glam Bag Plus. It says discover yourself on the inside. Um, and we're gonna pull out this sleeve here. And this bag is uh, the same, except for, uh, you can see that this uh, opens here in the front. This is on top. Um, this one's green. This one is blue on the inside. Um, I mean the bags are okay. I usually don't even reuse these bags. What I normally do with them is I'll put like some products, some samples that I'm not going to use inside these bags and I just give them away to folks that will use them. Um, little girls who are, you know, kind of just like starting their period. I don't have any girls myself. Um, I'm the only one in a family full of boys. Um, so I will, you know, hand these bags over for their hygiene, you know, tamp 
tampons, pads, whatever, and they can put these in their backpacks and take them to school and it's not like they're carrying around an embarrassing tampon, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of times that's what I do with those bags. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna pull out the first thing that I see in here, which is this um, Evolve, Evolve, Evoluve, however you say it. Um, it is also a super oil. Again, I am not a fan of super oils. This says that this is a, it, this is a fairly small situation. It is one fluid ounce. Um, I'm not used to seeing these small of products in the Ipsy Glam bag, um, but it says that it's a full size product and its value is 68 doll hairs. $68, and again, I don't like oils. Let me turn it around for you. I don't like oil um, products on my skin. Um, hello? I can't even get, oh, you gotta take it off. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I probably won't use that bad boy. I'll probably just pass it along to somebody else. Uh, it doesn't have the greatest scent to it, um, so I'm not real sure, and I'm not sure I would ever pay $68 for a small container of oil. Um, I probably wouldn't pay for it at all because I just don't like oils. Uh, next up in the palette that I've pulled out is this little eyeliner. This eyeliner is by Elamasca and it is in the shade black. I have received this product before. It's not a bad product, um, but it is not my favorite. And this one is valued at $35. $35 is what the price of this little eyeliner is. I'd much rather get like, um, I don't know. I really like this, uh, the Stila ones, and I also like the Kat Von D ones. Um, I will use this product up. If I was to purchase it outside, I probably would not spend $35 on that eyeliner. Um, it's not the greatest. It does have a lot of pigment to it. I might go ahead and pass that along to somebody else because I do currently already have one. Um, so there's that. Next up in here is this Stay Spray by Tarte. Um, this, I do believe this is what, did I pick this? I don't think so. Um, but I'm not mad at this product. Um, I am usually not a big fan of setting sprays in general. Um, but my dryer's going off. I really do, uh, like this product. I had received a sample size of this somewhere along the line. And out of the setting sprays, I don't mind this product. It has a really fine mist to it. It smells great. Um, but I don't generally wear foundation or powder or anything like that, so it's very rare, okay, that I need to set my face, but I'm glad to have it, um, and I will use it when I need it, for sure. And that is $22. See, for me, something like this, $22, $35, which one's the better value? You know what I'm saying? If this was made of gold or something, I could see paying $35 for an eyeliner, um, but when you compare this to this 22 and 35 it to me it just doesn't make sense um next up is this palette oh i got that oil all over the back of this unicarton bummer this is the what is this this is the itsy um van ness eyeshadow quad z palette okay um and you open it up i do like this, um, I only have one other Z palette. Um, it's made very well, the outside of this palette. It's like a leather bound situation. Um, I only have one other Z palette and I'm looking for it. I just took this out of here, I don't need that. Um, I do like Z palettes, especially if I'm going to be taking it um, on the road, going with me. I can pick my shadows if I know what I'm gonna be doing. So it comes, like this and this little foam piece you just pull out okay and then your little z pans are in there and you can the reason why i like z palettes is because um you can pick your shades and then just pop them in there and it could be from different brands and things like that so i don't mind getting a product like this do i think that it's worth 60 dollars i don't think so 
Um, the other Z palette that I have, I think I maybe spent 20 bucks on. Um, and these are nice neutral shades. Um, and I'm not mad at that. And they're matte. It looks like two, two matte, two shimmer. Um, they are nice neutral shades. They'd be great for any base uh, to your eyeshadow if you're doing a serious eyeshadow look. Um, normally, that's not my aesthetic. Normally, I wear one or two shades and that's about it. But I don't mind having another Z palette as my other one is full. So, this is uh, definitely okay with me. Um, it is a value of $60. I'm not sure that if I was in the market for a Z palette, um, and I went and Googled Z palettes to try to find one that I would pay 60 bucks for one. Um, but I'm not mad at it. It is made well. Um, and it will do well traveling. So there's that. Um, and the last thing is, I think this is what I picked for my product this month. It is the Press and Set Bronzer Brush by Complex Culture. This has a retail value of $35. And, um, I mean, would I ever pay $35 for one brush? I wouldn't probably. Um, but I am over the moon to get a high dollar quality brush in my box this month. I, this is a very very good brush. Um, I love brushes and I love getting them in subscriptions because it's one thing that I uh, generally will not spend my money on. Um, so to pay $25 to get a box of uh, beauty supplies, this is the reason why I order and get subscription boxes is because I'm the, I'm the girl who, I don't have a daughter, all I have is sons. And um, I'm the girl who wants to be spoiled and wants to get high quality dollar items. But I am also the mom who has to put three kids through college and I'm not gonna spend my money on a $35 brush um, when $35 is half a pair of sneakers if for my kids. You know what I'm saying? So I love getting subscription boxes because they have products in them that I normally will not buy for myself, um, but I get them and I feel like I'm a queen. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way I feel about it. Um, very, very soft, lovely brush. I'm not mad about it at all. $35. Yeesh. Um, so maybe we'll get some more coming up in the boxes soon. Okay, so that is all of my products for this box. Let me get my calculator out and see the price. So we have 60 bucks for the palette, $68 for the oil, um, $25 for the, oh, Oh, you know what? Here I am whining about this LMS eyeliner, and I looked at the line wrong. So the setting spray is $25, and the liquid eyeliner is $22, and the brush is $35. That's $210 value for a $25 subscription box. Um, I still wouldn't pay $22 for this eyeliner. I just wouldn't do it okay I still wouldn't there's other better eyeliners out there in my personal opinion than this one um, to me this is just another black eyeliner that's it's decent don't get me wrong if I found that if I was on a desert island and I found this in the sand I would most definitely use it um, but it's not going to be the one that I reach for the most and I definitely wouldn't pay $68 for this at all I much would have rather gotten two brushes and not this oil and the value of the box would have been, you know, comparable, almost the same. So I'm not worried. I, w I just wouldn't buy that oil. I'm, I wouldn't buy any oil because I don't like them. Um, so that does it for uh, my boxes this month. I am, I mean, my boxes are okay. I like my glam bag plus better than my regular bag just because of this brush the setting spray and that little z palette although i love that thrive mascara um if you are new and you don't know anything about ipsy glam bag plus is 25 dollars a month and the ipsy bag i think is 12 dollars a month now um not bad i enjoy getting them 
Um, it's, like I said, it's not my favorite this month, and I'm really disappointed about the shipping this time around. But overall, I can live with it. I'm not hating on it, okay? Um, let me know how you guys felt about your Ipsy boxes and bags this week or this month. Um, I look forward to getting next month's box. Hopefully, it'll be on time, and I won't have to wait two weeks for it. Anyway, guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. For those of you guys who are coming back, Thank you so, so very much. I am in love with this brush. We will see you guys next month for another Ipsy unboxing. I hope you all have a fantastic uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And um, enjoy time with your family. And we'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye.